coronavirus numbers continue to rise in Jacksonville and across the U.S., mask mandates are becoming the new norm for a growing number of cities. Today, Jacksonville became one of the latest cities to adopt the requirement. Now, this order was announced today and took effect just a few hours later at 5 p.m. It comes as more than 5,200 new cases of COVID-19 have been reported in Florida. The News for Jack's team is dedicated to keeping you informed during this pandemic. Let's go now to reporter Joe McLean to break down this new city mandate. Joe? Yeah, and this uh, mandate is coming as those COVID-19 numbers, as you just said, we're not headed in the right direction. We've got 4th of July weekend coming up uh, in just a few days. And then later this summer, the RNC is expected to bring thousands of visitors from all across the country. Today, the city took action. A citywide mandate to cover your face if you're in a public space or you can't maintain social distance. The order doesn't apply to children under six years of age or anyone with breathing problems. You can also shed the mask once you take your seat in a restaurant dining room. Healthcare experts advise that masks and cloth face coverings, they help slow the spread from individuals with COVID-19 to vulnerable populations, including from those who are asymptomatic. And as we've been mentioning to you over the last week and a half, especially a lot of those people that are being tested and testing positive don't have symptoms. We spotted businesses around town posting signs in their doors, alerting customers of the citywide mask mandate. The order is a change of direction for Mayor Curry, who, when talking about the idea last week, said, I do not think that's a prudent action to take. We do not need to have law enforcement out in public enforcing this. It's not an efficient use of resources, and we're not going to prosecute people, start prosecuting people, ticketing people, and arresting people because they choose not to wear a mask. Curry was not at today's press conference citing a family commitment. City officials said enforcement of this rule will be a challenge, but added that they expect residents to follow requirements. Residents we spoke to said they agree and will be following it. Yeah, I think it's the right move. I think it's, you know, just important for everybody to show a little bit of social awareness and do what we can, you know, not a whole lot we can do, but at the very least we can try to do our part a little bit. It's really hot, but that's okay. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. And we've been wearing them since the beginning. Now, earlier tonight, we got a copy of the full executive order. You can read that for yourself on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.